represented the goddess Asherah. And many of Asherah's priests were homosexuals. Uh, girly boys. It had to be because they were bowing to a goddess. See. Men. 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 Brethren. Y'all don't like me. But you, you can't you can't submit to femininity. I'm not talking about your wife now. You got to work together in your marriage. See, I want to fix that already because you hear the wrong thing. You hear the wrong thing. Or some of you, your experts are hearing the wrong thing. You hear what's not said. Right. Right. <laughs> Let me rephrase this. I can tell. When guys go to church, go to churches, and there are exceptions to the rule, but most of them, if everybody up before them are women, the woman is the pastor, and I'm not coming against women pastors, I love you. I'm just talking about God's divine order. And, and I mean, I'm, look, you know, I didn't create this thing. I, 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 I wasn't there when God made Adam first. And I don't think God made a mistake by making Adam first. And I think, I think that that was God's design because the Bible said for Adam was made first. When Paul was making another point, he brought up that divine order. You just got to read your Bible. Now you don't want, this is why I talk like I do uh, uh, in, in our community. See, I'm trying to say this, John. In our community black community we most of our homes 73 percent of them, there's no man so we're we're very vulnerable our men are very vulnerable to becoming effeminate even if they're not homosexual effeminate see so now if you are in a church where everybody in charge is a woman and you're a little boy and a little boy sitting there and all the shouting he sees are from women. All the praises are women. Everybody who's dancing is a woman. But when he get up to dance before the Lord, in most cases, he's going to start dancing like a woman. Because that's all that's mirrored. There is such a thing as osmosis. A little boy who is born has to make a leap that a female, the little girl, doesn't have to make. For both come from the womb of their mother. Both are nourished by their mother. Both experience that loving mama baby eye contact. A language that cannot even be spoken. There is an attachment that is divine. And God given. But that boy at a certain age has to break away from that. And he has to uh, attach himself to the masculinity of his daddy. He's got to grab hold to the man's side. That's quite a leap. Now, if dad is not there, or if dad is weak, the boy in many cases can't make the shift. See, because for him to be whom God would have him to be, she can't teach him that. Because she ain't never been that. That's why, that's why you men are so important. That's why you need to be in place and you need to be strong. So you need to be strong and need to keep some things in place. If, if the boy rebel, let him. But keep your standard. And when he comes back, you tell him, say, I'm glad you're back. But the same standard that we had when you left. You got to now go by that same standard 
today. That'll happen. Y'all don't like my preaching today. But I'm right. So we're trying. We're, we're trying. I mean, Dwayne Wade painting his fingernails now. What is that all about? What is that all about? Boy, wearing these girl hairstyles. I know y'all don't like for me to talk about it. But I'm going to say it again. God never intended for men to be walking around. Where you have, where you got to keep doing like a girl. You got to throw in your hair. No, that's the wrong, that's, that's the wrong way. Am I right? That's, that's the wrong way. That's a, that's a spirit of femininity. It don't mean that you're a homosexual, but that's a spirit. That's a spirit. You look at the NBA. Look at most of these guys. These guys got their hair and, and half that stuff. You know, they, I thought they were growing it like that. Half of them going and set up in a beauty parlor. And let the woman. Or their mama or somebody. Putting. I mean, it ain't even theirs. Now there's something wrong with that. Now, I understand why you won't hardly say, man. You don't know what to say. But I tell you what you will find out. You will find out that I was right. Right. 